In this problem, we want to solve this rational inequality. So we got x plus 1 over x minus 2 is less than or equal to 2. Now our first step, get everything on the left side, 0 on the right side. So we're going to take the 2 and move it over to the left side. So we got x plus 1 over x minus 2 minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. Now step 2, get a single fraction on the left side. We're going to take the number to the side, we're going to multiply it uh, times our denominator. So we'll take negative 2 times x minus 2 and then we'll add our numerator. So we'll add the x plus 1. And then our denominator stays the same. So again, we took the number to the side and multiplied it times our denominator and added our numerator. And then our denominator stayed the same. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Plus x plus 1 over x minus 2. It's less than or equal to 0. Negative 2x plus x is negative x. 4 plus 1 is 5 over x minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. We got our single fraction. Now, next step says to factor the top, back to the bottom. I could factor a negative 1 out of the top, but it wouldn't do me much good. So I'm going to go directly to set in each factor equal to 0 and solving. And those are our critical values. So I'll set the negative x plus 5 equal to 0, and I'll set the x minus 2 equal to 0. Now here I'll take negative x to the right side, and we get x is equal to 5. And here I'll take negative 2 over and we get x is equal to 2. Now here's our x, step 4. Using x-axis critical values and graph, then determine the answer. So here's 2 and here's 5. Clear over here is negative infinity. Clear over here is positive infinity. Again, he split them into intervals. Now we want to look at our graph. And you can plug in any one of these where 0 is by itself on the right side. I'm going to choose this last one. And the key is put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom. So, we got uh, y equals clear, beginning parentheses, negative x plus 5, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, x minus 2, close parentheses, graph. Now, um, from negative infinity to 2, well, here's 2, and I see it's below. Between 2 and 5, here's 2, and here's 5, I see it's above. From 5 on, I see, well, it's below over here, so it's below in all of the interval. It's, uh, if it's in below and part of it, it's below in all of it. If it's above and part of it, it's above in all of it. Now, this is a less than or equal to 0. Less than or equal to 0, answer is below the x-axis. So the answer is below right here and right here. So this is from negative infinity to 2, and that one is from 5 to infinity. Infinities always have parentheses on them. Less than or equal to. Less than or equal to is brackets. So bracket on 5 and parentheses on 2 and union symbol in between them. Why do we put a parentheses on 2? Well, 2 came from our denominator. Any critical value that comes from your denominator always has a parentheses on it. And that'd be your answer.